Hello, I'm Tyler Weaver, and this is Ross Developer Notes. Lint is the fibers and bits of fabric you clean out of your dryer and your navel. You also have it in your code. This video is about how to get lint out of your Ross 2 code. Linters are tools that check for bad patterns in your code and help you improve code quality. This will save you time by reducing accidental bugs and making your code easier to read. Who doesn't want that? All right. The first and most basic linter is a formatter. The one we use at Picnic for C++ is called Clang Format. In ROS 1, the tools were much more manual and harder to apply. In ROS 2, there are tests and Python executables in the ImmentLint package that makes this doing, doing this super easy. Here, I'll show you. I've created a workspace with one of the examples from the official examples repository. And I will show you that it builds. Um, so here's it building. Um, and I'll show you that it fails a test. I've added the test already. Uh, or no, I haven't. Um, we have to do that. All right, so how do you add the test? Uh, you just have to add the, it to the package XML. It's super easy. You vim uh, your package XML. So uh, there's this mentlet auto thing that's pretty important. Um, and I'll tell you why in a bit, but we're just going to add a mint cmake playing uh, format as a test depend. All right. Now what a mint lint auto does is a mint lint auto is a package that's able to read the package XML and see what other linters you depend on and then add them to your project. You need a little bit of CMake magic for it. I'm gonna show you that. Um, it's this thing right here. Um, you have to find the amentlet auto package if you're doing build testing, and then you call this this macro. There's amentlet auto find test dependencies, and that's the magic that makes this super easy. So I did that. We're gonna now we have to rebuild because it works through CMake. It's gonna be real fast. Now we test and you see it failed. Uh, if we look at the result, um, you see it wants to make a bunch of white space changes basically. Um, and I'll show you how to see what those are. If we go into the package there's a we can run the executable this is another great thing about the ment lint so colcon no not colcon um ment clang format all right these are the changes it wants to make outputs like a diff basically um but what's really great about it is this it'll do it for us that's the best part about it you can stop worrying about how your code is formatted, just build it into the tests, and then everybody just runs a mint clang format reformat over their code before they submit it. And now the whole repo is formatted exactly the same, and it's easy to read. Um, I'll show you that it passed the test, obviously. Um, uh, passes. Um, There are nine tests, there are nine uh, C++ files that it tested over, and all of them are formatted correctly. I'll show you what the diff is. If you, if you go in here and you diff, we'll look at the changes. It's basically white space changes uh, to unify the formatting. You can see that, clet, that test append is the only thing that we added. Um, it's making all these white space changes. Uh, and, and another thing it'll do is it'll reorder your includes so they're by type and alphabetical um anyway yeah that's it now go get that lint out of your code this has raised your ros2iq let me know thank you